And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Elise Azir. We got three donation decks today. We are very close to Masters rank, only three wins away. Of course, every loss, you know, puts you puts you down once. We gotta win three more than we lose. Hopefully we get there today with these donation decks. This one is a deck that Kordak took to Masters. It's one that um, we played quite a while ago that I liked a lot that we, we played a few times. Um, haven't tried it out in this new metagame, but basically what you have is you have an ag aggressive Shadow Isles and uh, Shurima deck. Um, you know, kind of like, you know, some of the cards that you play in like Thresh Nasus, right? Like, you know, just putting these two regions together with, with the aggressive cards. But instead of like having like Thresh and Nasus at the top end and be able to go big, we're going to be, uh, again, more aggressive. We're going to have Elise and Azir, a two mana and a three mana champion that both like attacking and reward you for attacking. And things like that. So we're going to be uh, doing more attacking. And then to finish out the game, since we don't have like that kind of top end, we're going to be having drain cards. We're going to be using Ruinous Path to drain two. We'll be using Doom Beast to drain two. And then also rewarding us for all of our allies dying and slays and that kind of stuff. We're going to have Neverglade Collectors draining uh, from the enemy nexus. This card in particular, Neverglade Collector, is great against other aggro decks. Where you're attacking, they're attacking, there's a lot of things dying. Um the because this draining you know that not only gets rid of your you know deals damage to your enemy nexus but then your own nexus is going to be healing your nexus and so it just really helps with the race with aggro deck so that's a great card there we got new card merciless hunter this we didn't have this card last time we played the deck because this card wasn't out yet um but that's kind of that's kind of about it like that's what our deck is all about so let's go ahead and get to it we're going to go play our five games in ranked with elise azir Okay, so we are going to be playing against Thresh Nasus to start with. So they, you know, they go big with their champions. We're going to try to be draining them. All right, we don't have the attack token round three. I'm going to Mulligan Caretaker and Butcher. I could see keeping Butcher, but like we don't have like the, we have the four two drops that really re reward us for having Butcher. We don't have any of those in our hand right now. We got a lot of threes. I was like, what is the sound? I realize it's this thing. I've never used the minion yet. Minion knot before. Minion knot. Um. I'm doing it on the 3-3 three, because three, they're going to attack with both of these and I'm going to block the 4-3. So now instead of like just making the 4-3 vulnerable and then it dies, let's make the 3-3 three, three vulnerable. Alright, we can kind of see if we want to play Doom Beast or Merciless Hunter. Which one do we want to do? We trade those. Always forward. No place for me. And we'll trade these. Since that already has vulnerable. And so then they assume they're just going to have the Merciless Hunter trade with my Reaper. So just going to have a lot of things trade. Which is obviously bad for the Slays. But... Um, I don't know. 
Yeah, maybe maybe that wasn't the best move by me. I'm not sure. Cause now they they have Thresh, and now I how do I beat Thresh? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Do not see what is. See what will be. Yeah. I will not Gosh, Thresh and Nasus. Yeah. No. You will see it rise with its emperor. Okay, so I don't know what I should have done differently, but that didn't work. Okay, okay, yeah, you say Thresh Nasus is the worst matchup, because that makes sense. Because this is just like something just in, in general for um, not necessarily for this deck, but just, just decks in general. Whenever you have like two decks that are very similar and playing the same similar kind of cards. Usually, the deck that goes bigger is going to be the deck that's going to win mirror matches um, because you're trading off so much because you're playing like the same kind of cards. And so the deck that, that can go over the top, because uh, it's, it's hard for mirror cards to go under, like one deck to go under the other when they're playing the same kind of cards, right? <laughs> like they just trade. And so it's the it's almost, you know, there's obviously exceptions, but just in general, the, the deck that's going bigger is going to be winning a majority of the time. So unfortunately, we we are facing um, worst matchup again. We're getting way too many threes, right? Like we need we need more ones and twos, especially ones. <laughs> We need more four, one mana four one fearsomes. My name will echo to the ages. All right, so not the best. Taking seven like that. But hopefully, like, you know, we have a lot of ways to heal our Nexus with all these. Caretaker is a ton of units for Azir. So this this minion nod is just making these beeping sounds, right? I don't think it's anything else making the beeping sounds. Like that one right there. I think I may change guardians. Yeah, how do we deal with Thresh ever? I guess we don't. Yeah, we're going to change Guardians after this. That'll have us pick it up. Oh uh, yeah, opponent has the new uh, dragon. Uh, it's it's like the one at the very end of the rewards, the the current event reward thing. Oh stream, yeah, how's the stream going? Well, off to a rough start. We're playing our our worst matchup the first two games, and so our deck. Hasn't looked very good. I walk through the ages. Oh, 
Doesn't look like we have any chance in that matchup. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Just doesn't look good. I, know, I guess I guess we'll try again. We always get paired against similar regions, though, so I feel like we're just going to keep getting paired against Thresh and Asus because it's just the same regions, and we can't win that matchup. So that just doesn't make doesn't doesn't look good. Oh, Guardian! I knew there was something I wanted to, to do. Yes, this Guardian has been terrible luck. That's what we got to change this Guardian. Thank you. All right, let's change this thing. All right, <laughs> never using this Guardian again. Let's go with. That's been the bad luck. That's that's why we we've, we've been losing just because that those beeping has just been so annoying, and then we can't can't focus. Go with the dragon. Okay, so we um. We changed our guardian, so that should be uh, should be us in for some good luck. Still have to play another Nasus deck, same regions. And I don't know. I don't know. I guess I can't keep like so. They, you would think that they are a go hard deck. So I'm gonna put um, the one one back. No, no, it's not that Diamond One only plays Shadow Isle Sharima. It's there's, there's something in the. I really think there's something in the algorithm where you get paired against similar regions a lot, and so uh, unfortunately, we're playing a deck that's not good against our same regions, and that's all we're gonna get paired against. Really want to find Ravenous Butcher. Dang, those cards are expensive. Um, let's go with the Hunter. It's not safe. So Kordak, who, who donated the deck, says that they played 23 games and lost five times, and three of them were to Thresh Nasus. Did you ever beat Thresh Nasus? Because it kind of looks impossible if they play Thresh and then Nasus, you know, like early. Like if they, maybe if they just don't ever draw their champions. Well, it looks like if they have their champions, there's no chance. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton, right, Arda? See what I've learned? I must be known. How'd you do that? How'd you just run him over? So the one one time he won, he ran him over. All right, so they, they, they must have just had a poor hand. That, that could happen. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, let's see, so we're going to have Doomkeeper, Elise... Form. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. <laughs> yeah, but Kai Reaper in all these games hasn't really looked that good. We just haven't really been able to slay very much for it. Dealing with three ones, quite annoying when you don't have removal. Uh, 
Dang. That's right. Run! I don't know if I kill the two one or do four damage to them. I guess I kill the two one. I don't think that'll count as a slay against me. Because it, it just dies from being ephemeral. I don't think that counts as being slayed. As they don't have Nasus, we have a chance. May not necessarily be a good chance, but we have a chance. The way is always the same. We still have a long ways to go. 17. Hard to imagine any outcome that we win this game. Let's see. I do think... Okay, so our decks looked really bad, but I, I do think that... Our deck can actually be very good against other matchups. Not Shadow Isles, Nasus. I think that we can actually... Like, I don't think this is a bad deck. Even though it looks like it... You know, I know how it looks, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad deck. Yeah, I mean, there's just no reason to continue on. We can't possibly win <laughs> from there. Against Nasus. Um, I mean, that's a good question, Trusty Noodle. Um, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't, I don't really have, right now, I don't have an answer for you. I mean, maybe, I mean, Kordak played the deck a lot more. Kordak couldn't answer that better. Okay. So here we go. We're playing against something else. We're playing against another aggro deck. This is where, you know, like, we should be able to keep up with them with units and then have, like, drain effects that are very important. So, I I mean, I want to keep Neverglade Collector because it is a very important thing. We need to find something to kill our Curse Keeper. Of course. Should I just Mulligan Curse Keeper? I mean, my best hands would have the Curse Keeper. Ugh. Okay. Be something to play. See what we see. So... You won't get past me. Sand and blood. We are playing three copies of Ravenous Butcher. There we go. We got some luck. I was gonna say so. Like it. <clears throat> I was gonna say you think we would we would find one. It's a card we hadn't seen yet in any of these games. So good thing we waited, because we got to play something and give our opponent priority. I was hoping that with them having the priority, they were going to play Misfortune right here, but we'll take that thing out.
All right, so that was a great turn for us. There we go. They cheer on me. Our legacy is eternal. Yeah, so you're eight, 18 and 5, but lost three times to Thresh Nasus, and then lost 1 and 7 to Aurelia Azir, and one time to. All in Fiora. So yeah, so like basically all the other aggro decks, Neverglade is just amazing against all the other aggro decks. It makes sense. Yeah, Merciless Hunter was intentionally overtuned by Riot, which I don't like. <laughs> like, I, I don't think that's a, a good um, strategy myself, but yeah, it, it certainly was. Okay, so let's see if we can, you know, finish this out. Let's get back to 2-3. Okay, awesome. Another aggro deck. So, you know, basically, if you know, if we're not playing against Thresh Nasus, like this deck should perform very well um, against other aggro decks and things like that. So, okay, I like Reaper, Curse Keeper, Elise. We're going to Mulligan, Doom Beast. Mul you know, Doom Beast is good. We don't need to just keep the three mana cards. And we can kind of see if we find something to, to kill the Curse Keeper, you know, we can lead with that. If not, we can lead with Elise. Oh, correct. You played five games ranked with the the Howling Abyss control deck that I suggested that I really like, and you went 4-1 with it. Nice. And five games of Master Rank. Nice. That's That's awesome. Okay, so open attack or not open attack? That is the question. Looks like not open attack. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Looks like not open attack. The Yordle here's with me. That's right. Run! Okay, so they could use the plus three plus one card to save Green Glade Duo. But we could use it's not, or you know, it'd be just plus one, plus one card, but it's not super likely to have that. But then the, the Green Glade duo stays, even if they have that, the Green Glade duo stays vulnerable, and like the next round I can use like a spider to, to challenge it. Dang, Merciless Hunter is good. <laughs> oh man, another Merciless Hunter? Hmm. So I can play like, you know, Fading Icon, Ruinous Path this round, or just the Merciless Hunter and then open attack. So, you know, it's basically what I want to play the Merciless Hunter next round, or what I want to open attack. Oh, you can hear your opponent's Ellie? You can hear your opponent's Pat? That is not something I realized. Why would you not attack with Aurelia? Like, what, do, what are they scared of? Like, every point of damage matters. Why, why is that thing not attacking? Drop 
them up tight. So you challenge there, and that would put them to two. But then they have like homecoming, and that's kind of messy. This would put them to four if they go block block. But again, homecoming. Put them to six. I'm gonna go here. I really want to get rid of the Aurelia. And this gives me the best chance to do that through, again, the, the one mana plus one plus one card. Alright, so they're down to eight. See so we find like a Neverglade collector. Get some draining in. survive six seven eight nine ten yeah that's gonna be tough to survive Nah, I guess we're dead, aren't we? Yeah, we're just dead. I guess I need to play the Neverglade first, I think, because, yeah, these Ruinous Paths are slow. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. Okay, well, I, I don't know why I didn't spend... I was thinking like I was going to be playing both Ruinous Paths this round, but I, you can't play both Ruinous Paths. I need to play the Collector first and just like replace like the Escaped Abomination or the Elise. Yeah, that's just lethal. Green Glade Duo, heck of a card. But yeah, I need, I need to play the Neverglade. Yeah, or, or not play the one drop and play Ruinous Path last round. <sighs> yep, I can't I can't say that I played that perfectly. No. I was focused on like getting the one drop and play and then having it grow. I wasn't really focused on healing my Nexus more. Right? I need I needed to be focused on that. I need to be focused on healing my Nexus more. But yeah, just that, that two drop attacking for half your life total, you know, more than half your life total <laughs> and and elusive for a two mana card. 
I, yeah, I, that's really hard to stop. Okay, so there we go. So that was Elisa's year. Um, had some very poor pairings the first three. Didn't put myself in the best position to win in game five. But, um, yeah, I was, you know, I was pretty disappointed with the deck. It would just, the curve seemed too high, I guess. Like, it just seemed like we had just way too many threes for, like, the other, for the, um, that other type matchup. Ruinous Path looked pretty bad. It's just kind of difficult to turn on and then didn't really matter. Like, if Ruinous Path was Vile Feast in, like, all those games, it would have helped a lot more because, like, like, we really struggled against just, like, three ones. You know, like my opponent, like my opponent's playing fading icons. Like we couldn't get through fading icons with like our, our merciless hunters, for example, and stuff like that. And like like uh, merciless hunters and escaped abominations. And it's like the fading icons are really annoying. But then obviously, the last game, the green glade duo. We could play this deck again and go four one. <laughs> you know, it just wasn't wasn't our games. Um, but the the fact that I think that Thresh Nasa seems kind of impossible to beat with this deck wouldn't really make me want to play it for ranking up and maybe maybe if you start playing like vile feet you know, like so like maybe that that means you got to change some cards you know maybe vile feast instead of ruinous path could help out that matchup some you know like where you'd actually be able to take it down like some three ones and stuff like that and then be able to make like some better trades you know maybe that would help um i don't know like i don't know if you could play anything for nasus like you're looking at like vengeance or something but i, I you know like with this kind of deck you really don't want to play that card but so i don't know I don't know how you ever beat a Nasus. You'd have to you'd have to just out aggro them. But um, it's hard to out aggro whenever we have more three. You know, whenever we're we're playing so many three drops, and so like maybe that's the problem. Is there's just way too many three drops, not enough one drops. We just can't be aggressive enough. Like there's this curve's pretty high. But so I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, I, I liked this deck a lot, a lot before whenever we played it. Just today, just didn't work out for it. So, But anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all um, you know, learned some stuff from the video. And if you got any suggestions, feel free to put it in the chat. Like I said, um, it's been working a lot better for the person that donated. Just I didn't, I didn't make the best decisions against Aurelia's here those last couple of turns. And, um, and you know, the Thresh Nasus and just Nasus matchup looks really rough. All right, but that's going to be it here for Elisa's ear. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.